Hey you guys, welcome back to Rooted Homeschool. If you're new here, I'm Christina and I'm a mom of five kids ages 18 months all the way up to 13 years. And obviously a wife of one. I always feel, I'm always talking about homeschooling stuff so I always like leave my husband out and I'm like, I have five kids. And in today's video, I'm taking you guys along with me as I clean and organize this closet in my hallway. This is essentially the linen closet but it has become a catch-all closet. I have cleaned it out many times before, but I need to like totally purge it. I need to take everything out. That is the method I'm using where I take everything out and then only what I want to keep and or keep in there will go back in. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like, then tell you a little bit of my plan. Hey guys, let's look inside this closet. Okay, this is slightly embarrassing, but here it is. What on earth even is half of this stuff? Like, I don't even know. It was organized at one time. This is the current state. So, I am going to get everything out. I actually pulled my kitchen bench right here so that I can like lay things out on there as I'm working and I have a garbage bag there for things that just need to be trashed. So. Here we go. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free. Okay, you guys, so it is completely cleaned out. Everything is out of there. I cleaned off all of the shelves and the floor on the very bottom. Now I need to go through everything that I took out and decide what is going back in here, how I'm organizing it, all of those things. Some things I threw right on the garbage, but other things I need to make some decisions about, whether I'm keeping them, they're going somewhere else in the house, or if they're going back in here. So let's get to it. So I have everything here either on the table, on the bench, or on the floor right here. So I need to go through this stuff and figure out what we're doing with all of this. Like, I can't believe all this stuff was in that little closet. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for.
Okay guys, I think I figured out a system that will work for now. I'll just walk you quickly through what I did. Um, not a ton of changes. However, I got rid of a lot of stuff. I moved things that didn't necessarily need to be in here and I added some bins to keep things a little bit neater and then these organizers here that I've had for years and I've just been waiting for the right thing to use them for. So I did put back like some sewing stuff. This is how fancy my sewing kit gets, guys. Um, and then I have like bug spray and things like that up there. I would keep it in the mud room, but I don't trust my toddlers, so it's gonna stay up there. This is like miscellaneous stuff, like the baby monitor that I may or may not use like when we're out in the backyard. The extra baby wipes, um, extra little summer plates that we may still use, so I'm not gonna pack them with seasonal stuff just yet. On this shelf I have, this is kind of like first aid, tissues, hand sanitizer, that kind of stuff. This is some more first aid stuff here. I have our vitamins. Um, our medicine cabinet is very small, so vitamins don't go in there. So those are in here. So some things are random, but they make sense to me. This is like lint rollers and nail file, extra razors, things like that. Razors I won't keep in the bathroom for the same reason as the bug spray. Decorative duct tape that I can't think of a better place for it. Envelopes because I just need to have them like handy when I need them. So um, this is an easy location for me. I went back to like being honest with myself that I need two full shelves for towels and hand towels and washcloths and it's okay. So I put the bigger towels here with the hand towels. I put them sideways. Usually I've tried to lay them flat and then they're like really smushed. I think this way might work better. I thought about rolling things, but then I'm like, it's not really realistic because I know that we're not gonna keep up with it. So I didn't do that. The second shelf I did like the small, these are like a little bit smaller. These were like the ones that Target comes out with for like 275 during like college season starting back up. So these are good for like my older kids. These are like, you know, toddler towels, in between towel. I added this basket for washcloths, which I did roll. If it doesn't stay that way, I'm fine with that. But again, I would stack the washcloths here and they would end up a mess. So hopefully that will help a little bit. Here, I just organized my tablecloths a little bit better. All of these are like, you know, this probably needs to go downstairs with the seasonal ones because I literally will only use this for Valentine's Day. Um, these are just fun ones I use for the kids when we're doing like homeschool stuff and I don't want to get my table dirty. This one is our actual art ones, like if we're painting. Um, and these are just extra sheets and pillowcases. And these are like napkin, like cloth napkins that could go in my kitchen drawer, but my um, 18 month old like pulls them all out and has them all over the floor. So same thing for these cloth placemats. I decided instead of like folding them or rolling them, I would just try to keep them flat under here. I think that's like my best chance of keeping them like not a mess. Under here, I put the same three things under here that were here, like diaper, pail, refill bags. This is like the light for um, my gel that I do on my nails. And then there's a little dirt devil back there that I never use, but for some reason I still can't seem to part with it. But it is all cleaned out, organized, and I feel much better about it. Hopefully I can keep it this way and get my family to help me keep it this way as well. Some things that moved to the mud room were like sunblock and things like that, which I could have left in here, but I put out there because it's summertime and we're always putting sunblock on when we're outside in the yard. So like beach towels and sunblock and things like that. Ideally a bug spray would be out there in the mud room with those things, but again, I don't want to take any chances with my two toddlers like spraying themselves in the faces with it or something. So. There you have okay, it. you guys, thank you for coming along with me as I tackled another one of the things on my summer goals to-do list. Just another thing that I procrastinate on doing and I finally got it done. I hope this motivates you if you have a project in your house, big or small, that you need to tackle. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, click that red subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I have a new video coming out. I have all different kinds of content from organizing, big family life, motherhood, homeschooling, unboxings, hauls, all of the things. So if any of that interests you, I would love if you would stick around and subscribe. If you're new here, comment down below and introduce yourself. I love to get to know you guys. If you are not already following us over on Instagram, you can follow us there at rooted underscore homeschool. 
Let me know if you have any, any organizational ideas for me that you think might work better in this closet or if you have any projects coming up that you're gonna be working on. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until next time, stay with it.